Lucinda, I'm going to need you to step in while I get Dr. Smith. Eddie's complaining of new onset chest pain. His BP is 90 over 65, heart rate 110. He looks pale and diaphoretic. Peg's getting his 12 lead. He has his oxygen. He's having an MI. Get him on a monitor, start an IV. I'll be back with Dr. Smith in two minutes. Oh, no. Poor Eddie. Has he had anything for pain? No. That's something you can work on. Dr. Smith, I have Eddie Thomas in room six. Uh, hold on. Uh, yeah. Eddie Thomas, 56-year-old with congestive heart failure, multiple ED visits. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you what, uh, 40 milligrams of Lasix IV, O2. I'll see him as soon as I'm done with these dispos. Got to clear some rooms, or we're going to be back on the Dr. Uh, so Smith, listen, I'm, I'm concerned. Gonna... All right, look, I'll have to call you back. OK. Yeah. Eddie isn't presenting with his usual heart failure. He has substernal chest tightness radiating to the jaw. He looks pale and diaphoretic. BP is 90 over 65, verified with manual cuff, pulse 110. We've got him on 02. We're getting a 12 lead starting a line. I think he may be having an MI. We need you to see him now. Based on what you said, it might sound like it might be an MI. All right, I'm on my way. What would you say, room uh, 8? Room 6. OK, room 6. Got it. All right. Yeah, here's his electrocardiogram. Oh, this looks like it could be an acute MI. All right, everybody, hey, let's huddle up before we go in so we know what we need to do. Well, I've got the four liters O2 by nasal cannula and two aspirins. He's hypotensive, so we might want to drop the nitro. Um, he's already on the monitor. All right, good catch, Karen. Hold the nitro. Uh, where are his cardiac labs? His labs are pending. We should have those in 15 minutes. Okay, let's prepare to get him to the cath lab immediately. I'll call the cath lab to confirm. Okay, all right, let's get in there. Eddie, you're having chest pain, you said? Yeah. Eddie, I'm worried uh, this is not your usual heart failure. I'm afraid you might be having a heart attack. Now, look, a lot of things are going to happen over the next few minutes, but then I promise we'll have a chance to talk, OK? All right. The chest x-ray's here. Okay. The cath team confirmed they can take Eddie in five minutes. Dr. Martin's on line three for you. OK. I'll be right back. Thanks, Al. Hi, Bob. <laughs> hey, Bart. Is this your idea of putting me on a diet? Because every time I put food in my mouth, I got a new ER case. <laughs> no, just trying to keep you busy. Actually, it was Hal that made a good uh, catch on this one. Tell me more. Well, this is uh, Eddie Thomas, 56-year-old gentleman with viral cardiomyopathy and frequent episodes of congestive heart failure. We know him well. Today he came in with an anterior, acute anterior MI and early cardiogenic shock. We do have his new and old electrocardiograms. He described the pain as ripping, and his history is one of viral cardiomyopathy, not coronary artery disease. So I'd consider squirting his chest to be certain there's no dissection. Uh, he's had uh, aspirin and heparin. We're starting Integralin, and uh, there's no beta blockade or nitroglycerin on board because of his hypertension. His labs are drawn and pending. So I'm going to sign off. I mean, Hal will be here to make sure you've got everything you need. OK, Bart. You have a recurring heart failure patient with new onset atypical chest pain. Electrocardiogram findings are consistent with uh, acute MI, aspirin but no nitro, and labs pending. I got it from here. Hey, Hal, uh, good job with Eddie earlier today. You know, our communication was precise, and we got him the necessary attention quickly. Good job. <laughs>